It's my, it's, it's my car, you know, if I, I mean, it's not, it's not like I don't really drive it a lot. It's also my daily. So I kind of didn't want to put the Yukon in a position where it ended up being broke and then I have to start driving the car. So that's why uh, it's one, one of the main reasons why I didn't take the car to the track. Because I didn't tow the car to the track was that simple reason right there. Is I didn't want it to go back the way it was. Like granted, when the Yukon was messed up, I was able to drive the car and I enjoyed driving the car. But I don't want to do that again because <clears throat> the next time may not be that good. The next time it may be a whole lot more wrong with it, and I don't really want that. Like I, I like the old heavy Chevy. If y'all ever, if, 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 I don't know if I ask y'all, but y'all need to come with a nickname for the Yukon. I don't, I don't really know. I hadn't really thought of one. And comment down 
Below would be a good nickname for the Yukon. I mean, it's been called School Bus, it's been called the Heavy Chevy. I occasionally call it the Rust Bucket. But uh, anyways, so yeah, I like the GN, I like the Yukon, so I wasn't trying to be out of it because, like I said, with the rear main seal leak and the rear suspension with the trailer on the back, if something went wrong, it wouldn't end up good for your boy. It wouldn't end up good for your boy. Nim jak szatan zaczął nim kurwa. No pizda daj. O chuj. O chuj. I'ma make it known. They call me obsessive. Oh, I know. Call me selective with my notes. Call me aggressive with my flow.